It's fine. You can kill it. Oh, I probably could have killed him. That's okay. We've got it. Oh, I finally got him, I think. Yeah, I think I finally got him. Yeah, play all the guys you want. I don't care. Okay, and he's gonna heal. That's fine. I'm pretty sure I still got him. Yes! I haven't beaten him before. This is wonderful. Yay! Please tell me I was recording. Oh good. Okay. <laughs> we're like, no. It's my weakest minion. Really, really. Okay. Well, hmm. That is done. Oh, okay. So let's go over what the deck is. I almost forgot. Um. So this, there are two decks. You can see that I was kind of going back and forth. But the druid one, I think, yeah, it made. It's very, very much RNG. Um. Basically, if you don't have innervate and a Lormo bot in your opening hand you're not going to be able to pull this off and you re it's, it really is a lot of luck i've been doing this for an hour and a half now and i finally got him so 
uh, you need two innervates, two naturalize, two healing touch, two alarmo bots. And then the rest are just big, big, big heavy hitter minions. So, um, Thrassian's a good one because it lowers the spell of everything. I grabbed my Exonaut to just try and hit a big one, never ended up using it. Paladin Sky Golem, I figured, was a good idea. Um, two Sunwalkers are pretty good because you've got the shields and the taunts. Uh, Sylvanas is great. Stormwind Champion's great. Uh, Force Tank Maxes. Um, Ironbuck Protectors are good. Kalthazod's kind of a must. Reg is pretty much a must. And then, but everything else here, except for like the giants are really handy because even then those you can play on curve. Um, but Deathwing, Volcanic Lumberers were kind of, and a bunch of my like legendaries, pretty much you can intertwine almost all of them. So just use what you have. If you have any big guys, dragons are really good. Yes, Sarah is awesome. Um, just throw as many big guys absolutely as you can into this and yeah, best of luck.